Beautiful Mount Gambia. Good morning, big bikers. Mount Gambia, South Australia. Wow. I actually got a proper, a proper ride today. Like I'm meeting some people at a McDonald's. We're going to have a coffee and then go for a ride. <laughs> no, it's actually a proper ride. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, and I've been in Mount Gamby for three days now, just having a look around. And holy cow. Uh, this is, it's a really, really impressive place. Let's go and have a look. And we'll go and meet up with the other guys. Let's go and have a look at the lake. The blue lake. So I've been in Mount Gamby for about three days now and I've got to tell you it's very very much like Christchurch in New Zealand. Lots of green grass, lots of tree lined streets and lots of old stone buildings and churches and you know it's just it really really nice. And interestingly <laughs> I was just doing a little bit of reading about you know who first came here and settled it and all that sort of stuff. One of the original settlers of Mount Gambia was a gentleman by the name of Evelyn Pitfield Shirley Stern and that's the youngest brother of our good mate Charles. So Charles came down through this region in, uh, well he came down into South, South Australia as we know on the Murray and that was in 1830 and then in the years after that uh, avalanche of people coming down into the South Australian region. I was going to get some fuel, you know, number one rule of a, of a, uh, uh, of a group ride is uh, uh, turn up full, so um, I'll get some fuel and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you. So we're just in the main drag of uh, Mount Gambia, I just want to show you some of these old stone buildings like this old pub here. The lattice on that beautiful old buildings. This one up here, the, the old town hall. So it was settled in about uh, 1844 is when Evelyn got here. But the Henty brothers from Tasmania, remember I told you about those guys uh, when Charles Sturt first came back from his trip down the Murray and you know told everyone about this amazing. Uh, country you know for grazing and for for uh, agriculture uh, one of the one of the first groups of guys and they did it without telling the authorities they just basically stuffed everything on a boat and sailed from Tasmania over to kind of the coastline in Victoria there near Nelson and they just unloaded everything and start spreading out and settling and so they started settling up around this area so they were grazing through here 1840s they were kind of hanging around this area with their cattle um, but it was it wasn't until the South Australian government was established and then they started uh, surveying and cutting the blocks up that uh, the area first got settled officially officially settled so and one of the first ones to do that was Evelyn Sturt and Evelyn Sturt is uh, obviously as I said um, Charles Sturt's little brother but I knew his name was Evelyn I remembered actually I remembered his name was Evelyn uh, from um, 
the, when I was up at Milparinka, that creek that runs through Milparinka where Depot Glen is, is located, so where Depot Glen runs all the way down through Milparinka, that creek's called Evelyn Creek and he named that after his brother. So uh, that's Evelyn who moved in here in about 1844. So, and 1844 is the same year that Charles Sturt left and then went up to the desert trip that he did up through to Tibbaburra and up into the Simpson Desert. So, Brendan on the T7, uh, Jeff on the 500X. Way to go. So, lead on, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, you know, the party started when Mrs. Jones arrives. So Brandon's come over from uh, Millicent, which is uh, about three quarters of an hour away. Uh, Jeff just lives up the road. Jeff actually invited me over for dinner the other night, so thanks for that, mate. Met his uh, his wife, um, Carolyn, and we had a very very nice roast lamb. And uh, thanks, mate. I had that was just such a really nice thing to do, and I very much appreciated. So yeah, this is uh, this is Mount Gambia. Uh, the boys are going to take me. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to the coast today, so um, I'm going to um, just be taken on a guided tour uh, around the lower southeast of South Australia. Now, I, I did go down to the border the other day. As I said, the weather we've had over the last couple of weeks here has just been uh, really, really, really windy, just terrible riding, scattered showers all the time, rain. But just that wind has been so cold. So I took the Land Cruiser the other day down to um, the South Australian Victorian border. And I, I, yeah, but I, I was talking to Jeff. He said they've got cameras and everything set up all over the place down there. So uh, it's not worth trying to push the boundaries. But, um, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully you guys in Victoria are, uh, look, you know, there's. There is talk about you being let out, and there is talk about uh, um, things being relaxed for you. I know you can do the ride the 25, and cafes and everything are open, but you know, let's just uh, hope you can just get out. And if I were you, I'd just go, just get out of Victoria, get out into the regional areas, take your camper gear, and just get away and uh, go and clear your mind and sit under the stars somewhere. So we're that close, so Nelson's only 32 k's over the border, but we can't get there. We can't go to can't go to Victoria. That's you know that's just ridiculous. Anyway, I'll come and talk to you when we get to uh, where we're going. I think I think uh, Brendan's going to take us down to the Devil's Hole or something. It's a bit of a uh, another sinkhole. There's plenty of them around here, so he's going to take us to one of those. And then um, we're going to head off down to the coast. So, should be good. Looking forward to it. Look at this countryside. I mean, you can understand why they just came down here in their droves to settle it. Hell's Hole. Clean, jolly blood. 
blowflies around here, they splat all over. Now that T7s. Good looking motorcycle. It's almost shiny. Locals aren't coming. <laughs> I know yes they are. We shouldn't get in much trouble, should we? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, yeah, no, the Queenslander said it's okay. Yeah, they reckon it's got no bottom on it, eh? Alright. So, yeah, that's Hell... What's it called? Hell's Hole. Hell's Hole, yeah. Just... The, the whole area around here is just peppered with... Um, sinkholes. And, and uh, mostly full of water, like that. Uh, Lake Blue Lake and Little Blue Lake and all the, all the areas around here, they're just... Um, that's just what this countryside's like. So back the other way. So we're heading over to a place called Mount Shank, but it's spelt S-C-H-A-N-K, and you say school, it's S-C-H-O-O-L, so you say school, so I don't know why you say skank, Mount Skank. It just makes sense to me, but that's the, that's the, uh, in fact, you can just see it over the horizon there, maybe not, just that little rise. That's actually Mount Skiing. It's Australia's youngest volcano, apparently. So, um, and it's about 20,000 years old, something like that. Uh, but yeah, Mount, uh, Mount Skank. But it's, yeah, Shank. That's the joys of the English language. Hey, listen, and uh, to all those guys that made comments on my last video about you know, my little pity party. I'm okay, don't worry about it. I, I, and I'm very, very grateful for the lifestyle that I've got. Um, you know, there's, there's, I'm not stuck in Victoria, I'm not stuck at home. I'm out on the road, I'm exploring, I'm riding my bike whenever I want, and I'm having a great time. But uh, just every once in a while, I, I think about, you know, with, with some sadness of the things that I've lost and will probably never get back again. But uh, I'm very optimistic for the future and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the next page, whatever that may look like. You know, I, I may end up as a tour guide um, on some historical Charles Sturt um, history thing. I don't know. That'd be cool, eh? Well, there's a bit of a road there. Are you taking us that way? See? Nice. Let's be careful. Settle down, champ. This is better. Now, 
you have a look at the tyres that um, Jeff's got on his bike, he's just running road tyres. So he's doing really well on the 500. around the corner. That was a bit slippery. <laughs> green mossy stuff. Wow! <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, that's just... Uh... stuff is insanely slippery. Yeah, I think Brendan's got the right idea. Get over there in the dirt. <laughs> There's just moss growing on the top of a wet clay. It was just like ice. Jeff got through there on his road slicks. How slippery was that? Okay. Holy cow, how slippery was that? Did, oh, I'm just all over the place. Yeah. You did well on those things. Oh, yeah, it's not a good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just the throttle. Well, yeah, see, I, every time I opened up, I'm just spinning away. It was <laughs> anyway, it was good. I like it. That green stuff. Oh, it's like ice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, this keeps... That, uh, that was good. Caught me a little unaware, but you know. All right. I'll follow you. A bit of cattle. Oh. Through the drone up, had a little fly around. There's an old shearing shed, big double story one, just over the over the hill there, so it was pretty cool. 
I'll tell you, uh, Jeff's doing really well on that um, standard tyres um, and alloy rims. So, oh, little little baby, little baby Frisians. Hello, little Frisian cows. What are you? Shut him up. You got that on camera. <laughs> All right. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Never mind. All right. So I can't fly the drone in here because this is a conservation area. Yeah. So predatory birds. <laughs> Apparently. No, that no where they can and can't go. Yeah. All right. Oh. I don't know what happened then. He's very strong. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. <laughs> Somewhere stop for me to fall. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. This stinky race course bay, isn't it? Yeah. What's... Hey. It's stinky, alright? Yeah. Lots of wag. What's it called? Race course bay. Race course bay. McDonald. There's a big break of wall there. Just just to give you some bearings, it's south. So basically Antarctica. <laughs> It's uh, when the wind blows, it's cold, 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 cold wind. And we're going to go through town here and then out the other side, apparently, around to the cliffs. Which... Yep, we'll be putting the 
the drone up around here. time of day the sun's in the well sun's very high which is okay but when you're facing south shadows on the southern edge of it so it wasn't as well lit as I would have liked
I found some seals, but uh, um, didn't fly in the national park, of course, because that's illegal. But you can fly along the beach, as uh, they instructed me. So we we're able to go out and find some seals. So yeah, it's good to see seals here, because that means that um, I'm not going swimming. <laughs> Because uh, it's a great white shark food, that is. Uh, apart from the fact the water's 12 degrees. But, you know, like, I would. But I would just wouldn't go out very deep at all. So I haven't, I, I mean, I only saw the footage of the seal um, from the small screen so I'm keen to have a look at it on the big screen because it looked like he was chasing like a um, uh, fish or maybe an octopus or something so but yeah uh, just it's a really really impressive coastline so we'll say goodbye to Brendan but uh, mate just huge thanks to you guys for coming out it just this is what it's been all about for me, you know, if you watch some of my earlier trip videos, the thing that uh, I've loved doing all the way as I've been travelling and it's really good to get back to that is this hooking up with subscribers and going for a ride and making friends and, you know, and, and it's just amazing. Uh, it's such a great, um, a great thing to do just to connect with all these people as I travel around the country. So if... Uh, you know, if you're going to be around the Fleurier Peninsula or uh, uh, Murray Bridge, Morgan, that kind of area, uh, in the next couple of weeks, in, uh, late October, early November, um, you can actually send me a, an email to bigbikeadventures at outlook.com and uh, that way you'll be able to get hold of me and uh, we can then kind of have a bit of a chat you know, away from um, YouTube comment section. So, uh, if you want to shoot me some, so if you want to, if you want to get in touch with me and uh, organise a ride and show me around, I'd be very, very pleased to be uh, to be shown around your backyard. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I'll uh, come and talk to you when we get down the track a bit. Sleepy little town of Millicent. We're going to drop off uh, Brendan and then we're going to make our way back up over the mountains to uh, Mount Cambia. To our itinerary. Mate, one of the things I've loved about this trip that I'm on is actually meeting up with different riders around the place. So thanks for coming out. No really Thank appreciate you. it, Brendan. Oh, awesome. Great bike, I love these things. They've just, they, you know. And you pedal pretty well, that's good. You're well, taking it pretty easy though. Still up the right way, that's the main thing. Yeah, <laughs> unlike some. <laughs> uh, Looks some nice soft grass to fall over on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was good, mate. 
So we're going to drop this guy off and we're going to keep heading back and uh, get up over the mountain. The mountain Back into the forestry now. You won't, you won't be able to see it, but that, there's that Mount Bear um, antenna that was up the other day that uh, it's got the, the the big fire tower with the big um, communications area on it. Antenna. So just back up over there. So Jeff's going to take us back. To Mount Gambia, but we're going the back way. We good. So, and Brendan, thanks for thanks for dropping in, mate. Really appreciate you reaching out and making contact. So, Too soon. I normally come up that one in the middle. Oh, okay. I was looking. Oh, no. That's fine. Is this the radio tower I was at the other day? No, that's, yeah, that's not Mount Burr. That's Mount. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it's a different mountain. This is Mount Burr. Oh, okay. This is Mount Burr. Oh, right. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks, mate. Great ride, mate. Awesome. Fantastic. Good day out. Always a good day on the bikes. And so it was... Uh, <laughs> that how it works. <laughs> I'm just looking at how nice and soft your grass is. <laughs> yeah, no, you did really well on those tyres, mate. That's great. Good little bike. Happy with it. Yeah, terrific. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks for your hospitality, mate. Thank you. See you later. See you later.